guys, this looks like a fun one. It was sent to me by one of my patrons. It's got a circle inscribed in a rhombus. That means all four of these lines are tangent lines. They all touch the circle in exactly one point, and that's called the tangent point. And the rhombus has diagonals 12 and 16. And it wants to know what is the area of the circle. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, let's get rid of these colors and let's get rid of the question mark. And let's construct this vertical diagonal. This has a length of 12 meters. And then if we construct the other diagonal, it's going to cut this 12 in half. And that's one of the properties of the diagonals of a rhombus. They cut each other in half. And there's another property of the diagonals of a rhombus. They also meet at right angles. Now let's mark this intersection point. That's going to be the center of the rhombus and the center of the circle. Next, let's look at this longer diagonal. It has a length of 16 meters and it'll split in half to be eight and eight. Next, let's focus on this right triangle. Let's label the hypotenuse C and we can do the Pythagorean theorem. It's gonna be six squared plus eight squared is equal to C squared. Six squared is 36 plus eight squared is 64 and then we can bring down the C squared. 36 plus 64 is equal to 100 and then we can square root both sides of the equation to give us C is equal to 10. So we now know this hypotenuse is equal to 10. And since it's a rhombus, we know all these sides are equal to 10. Next, let's connect this radius to here, and we know this will also be at right angles. The radius going to the tangent point will always be at right angles to that tangent line. So let's break this into two parts. Let's call this piece A, and that means this other piece would be 10 minus A. And now we can do Pythagorean theorem two more times. Let's focus on this triangle first. It'll give us R squared plus A squared is equal to 6 squared. And next, let's do this other triangle, and it will give us r squared plus the quantity 10 minus a squared is equal to 8 squared. And then let's clean these up a little bit. On this top one, 6 squared is equal to 36, and then we can bring down everything else. For this bottom one, let's look at the quantity 10 minus a squared. It means the same thing as 10 minus a times 10 minus a. And after we multiply this out, it'll give us 100 minus 28 plus a squared. And then we can bring down the r squared, and this 8 squared is equal to 64. Next, we can subtract 100 from both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, we'll have r squared minus 28 plus a squared. And then on the right-hand side, 64 minus 100 is equal to negative 36. Now we've cleaned up our two equations, and let's rearrange them like this. Let's drag the r squared over here, and I want to subtract this row minus this row. This r squared minus r squared are going to cancel each other out. Negative 28 minus nothing is negative 20a. And then positive a squared minus positive a squared are also going to cancel each other out. And then on the right-hand side, we have negative 36 minus 36, which will give us negative 72. Now to get the a by itself, we can divide both sides of the equation by negative 20. And this will give us a is equal to 3.6. Let's bring this up here. Now that we have a, I don't think we need this top equation anymore. Let's move this up here. And now for this bottom equation in the place of the a, let's plug in 3.6. Let's simplify the 3.6 squared to give us 12.96, and then we can bring down everything else. Let's subtract 12.96 from both sides of the equation, and that'll give us r squared is equal to 23.04. This looks important. Let's clean this up a little bit, and let's bring this up here. Ultimately, we want to find the area of the circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared. We now know what r squared is equal to. So in the place of this r squared, let's plug in 23.04. And this is the answer to our question. The area is equal to 23.04 pi meters squared. Let's put a box around it. And the approximate area is 72.38 meters squared. How exciting.